David, we've seen a lot of these Fanuc high power version robo drills going into the market. You've had this, what, just a matter of weeks, I believe? Yeah, we've had this one for about four weeks now, and we're really pleased with the results we're getting from it. What was the reason for or behind the purchase? Well, frankly, my business partner always wanted one because he'd heard about the rigidity, the speed of the machine. And of course, we looked at it on, on the internet and we saw how fast they were. And I must admit, now it's in position. Yeah, he made a good choice. Now, it's a BT30 machine, which is an interesting one because you've got BT40 machines in the machine shop. Do you see any difference to the results on your machining and what you're getting off the machine as a result of the different tool taper? No, actually, this particular job we're running is a good example because we're using fairly rough uh, roughing cycles on here, really getting some material out fast. And with a 16 mil roughing mill, we kind of thought, we'll just see how this goes. It's absolutely rock solid. It's really, really good. So you're using a part one of your operations is a 16 mil roughing tool. Which one's that? Can you just yeah. point out? That's this one here. And as you can see, this cutter here, that's going to drop in full depth. That will go down 46 mil. And that's moving out a, quite a large amount of material for us. We're leaving a thin walled size box on here. And it's making a very good job of it. It's keeping a really good result. Oh, it, rigidity is not a problem. And, and how fast are you machining meters a minute in your feed rates? Yeah, well, we're running the cutter, this particular cutter, about 10,000 RPM, but the feed rate is four meters per minute. And that's really, that, that's, that's fast enough to really throw the chips out of the area. Um, when we get down deeper, it does cause a bit of a problem, which we can solve later, but it's a really good job. And when you're machining like that, you've got to get rid of that swarf. How, are you using the, the, the coolant to, to evacuate? Yeah. Initially, obviously, when you're at shallow depths, the cutter can throw the swarf out. But as we drop down deeper, it does become a bit of an issue. Fortunately, on this machine, we've got the through spindle coolant. We switch that on, and it just cleans it out. So it just keeps it nice and tidy. The cutter keeps cutting efficiently. And like I say, it does a good job for us. Chip to chip time is pretty quick as well, isn't it? Going from tool to tool. <laughs> yeah, it's really fast. It's really fast. We've we've made a few changes now, so we can actually have the bed move. The job is moving into position as the tool is changing, and that is where considerable gains are really being made. That's the most obvious thing on this machine. The, the compatibility between the hardware and the software. I mean, the Fanuc 31i processing speed coupled with the speed of the machine are the two things that go together to give you that that efficiency and speed isn't it yeah you can see the machine runs very smoothly it doesn't have to stop and think about what it's doing it's there everything is on the button shall we say the high power version means you've got quite a bit of torque as well and this is where we talk about this bt30 bt40 environment you're not you're machining aluminium on here now but you've got no fears of doing any job we don't have any fears or any job with us, no. We're quite satisfied that we've seen the results we've had so far have proved ample power for our requirements, that's for sure. And finally, if we took this job on here, you were, you were doing it uh, in the machine shop before these machines came in. What sort of reduction in cycle time would you say the part we're going to see being machined has, has, is now being made in? You must remember we were using modern machine tools to start with. So we were already getting good cycle times. So when we changed over, most of the benefits have come from the very quick uh, chip to chip times. And we're looking at improvements of between 20 and 30%, which is a considerable saving for sure. That, that's, that's a lot. And like you said already, you're using machine tools that are pretty up to date with the latest technology. The introduction of this has just gone that one step further for you. That's, uh, that's pretty incredible. Thank you, David, for your time. Okay, thank you.